We are now on day three. Today's meditation is called Turning Doubt and Uncertainty into Hope. When it feels like nothing is going your way, when it seems that your path is being blocked by outside forces, at work or in your relationships or even with everyday problems, what is your typical reaction? Do you move toward feelings of, ugh, why me? Perhaps without even thinking it, or do you pause and think about, what is my life trying to tell me right now? That is the question, let me tell you. How you respond to the difficult things that happen to you can mean the difference between a life of anger or joy, between despair and hope. Eckhart Tolle describes it this way. He says, life is an adventure. It's not a package tour. Being at ease with not knowing is crucial for answers to come to you. If you're dissatisfied in the unsettled state, you can't hear the guiding messages from your higher self. I believe that uncertainty is really your spirit's way of whispering, I'm in flux, something's off balance here. For me, hope lives in these uncomfortable moments when you have doubts and don't know what to do. Well, when you don't know what to do, get still. Like Eckhart says, wait for a guiding message from your higher self. That's what hope is, rising up to meet you if you clear space and allow it. Let's open up to hope as Deepak guides us toward getting comfortable in the uncomfortable spaces. And then we'll meditate together. On the journey of hope, fear can hold us back, especially in uncertain times, forces out there feel beyond our control. But ultimately, it is not the uncertain political or personal circumstances outside us that determine whether we respond with fear or hope. By itself, uncertainty is neutral. Great things can emerge from it like the next important discovery, insight, or realization. Everything depends on how we choose to relate to uncertainty, which is just life's constant stream of new events and challenges. Becoming a source of hope, strength, and optimism allows you to embrace uncertainty. Without this inner strength of hope, we are left to suffer through crises and uncertain times with self-doubt and fear. You feel weak and afraid, not because of outside forces beyond your control, but because of the self-doubt that comes from being disconnected from your true self. When you doubt yourself, you can't trust anyone or anything. The most loving and trustworthy person will only reflect your inner doubt. You fear being let down, which is the same as expecting to be let down. People who have been wounded by failure in their career, finances or personal relationships typically believe circumstances outside themselves are at fault. Life, they say, is unfair. With that mindset, you have already surrendered your power to the thing out there that defeated your hopes. But imagine two people hired on the same day at the bottom level of a company, perhaps as an intern. They both say, I hope to be president of this company someday. One is full of self-doubt and the other of hope. We can break it down into the ingredients that make dreams come true taking responsibility for your destiny, embracing the possibilities that arise today, being open and alert to changing situations, having a confident, flexible response to change, 
finding solutions when problems and obstacles block the way. None of these depend on God-given attributes, good luck, or a happy childhood. They are awareness skills, and it's totally realistic for you to develop them if you use hope as part of your inner strength. That's the vision we are on our way to achieving together. As we prepare to meditate together, let's take a moment to consider our centering thought. Hope makes me strong and secure. Hope makes me strong and secure. Now let's prepare for our meditation. Make yourself comfortable and close your eyes. Begin to be aware of your breath and just breathe slowly and deeply. With each breath, allow yourself to become more deeply relaxed. Now, gently introduce the mantra. Heem Harim Kleem Heem Harim Kleem This mantra strengthens self-confidence and removes self-doubt and insecurity. It helps instill a true knowledge of your self-worth and ability and the confidence that all your actions are guided by the infinite wisdom of your higher self. Repeat it silently to yourself. Im Harim Klim Im Harim Klim Im Harim Klim with each repetition, feel your body, mind and spirit open into an expanded state of awareness. Whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts, noises or physical sensations, simply return your attention to silently repeating the mantra. Heem Harim Kleem Heem Harim Kleem Please continue with your meditation. I'll mind the time and you'll hear a soft bell at the beginning and end of the meditation. Im Harim Kleem Im Harim Kleem Im Harim Kleem
It's time to release the mantra. Continue to sit restfully, inhaling and exhaling slowly. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. As you continue with your day, contemplate this centering thought. Hope makes me strong and secure. Hope makes me strong and secure. 